hello there guys and welcome back to the channel if you didn't see my video the other day about Sharbin I've done an interesting video about my Sharbin um, experience the other day although I have done Sharbin many many years ago for quite some time as per the video I've done two or three years ago up there and also about I've got a Sharbin playlist there but today's video is the week ahead now if you come to my best bookie website you see the week ahead from last week and then we've got this week's one here now there's not much on in terms of um, sporting events as such so it's probably the worst time of the year to start a week ahead series so this is just like a heads up of the main things that you're going to find betting offers in so the good thing about this week is you will find Europa Champions League and Europa League going off but today incidentally just I'm posting this video there's a weird thing happening today, ITV racing on a Sunday, that's not too common. Uh, but the weird thing is, it's between 4 and 7.15 tonight. So as you can see, at Haydock, they've got seven races there, two from the cover in Ireland, and one from Musselburgh up north. So be sure to check that out. Um, there's a sky bet money back if second, third or fourth in a 410 if you're quick enough to see that from this video. And also throughout this meeting, if you're not aware, most of you are going to be aware, but just in case. If it hits just a few people, then it's a valuable video, but a uh, video edition rather. This has got the money back if second with um, William Hill. I did do a video years ago about the William Hill money back offer. Please ignore the £20 status um, remarks in there because it used to be £20. Now it's been reduced to 10 like a lot of the offers. But as regards the events this week, we've got from Tuesday to Thursday, we've got Champions League. I've got all the, um, all the games here on Tuesday the 14th. You know these are going to be for good for two-ups. They're going to be for good for trading, maybe betting offers too. Incidentally, they had um, Ronaldo's back, isn't he? And um, he... He certainly come back with a bang. Uh, there was a few offers around Ronaldo scoring and all this. 2-1, to one, I think he was. And, um, yeah, I got involved in that. I got involved in good old Ronaldo's back. He's always um, coming up with the goods, isn't he? Uh, never too old, they say. Uh, Wednesday the 15th, we've got it on. They've also got the Europa League fixtures. Wednesday the 15th to Thursday. So you've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday where you've got elite football on, which is good. We've got, as per always in Russia, you've got the 3.30 game on a Wednesday. So that, I suppose, be the first game you're kicking off. So if you smash the two-ups, I'm going to do a two-up video. I've had some requests. Um, and also I need to get back to some of the people who have made some comments. Thanks for making the comments, guys. Please tap away below. I will get back to you guys and I will get round to producing the videos I don't need any video ideas I just want to know what you guys um what you guys want because I can come up with videos all day long because this is my game I don't need any ideas as food for thought I just want to hear some feedback so you've got the games on the 16th here and also down the bottom here I've got a heads up for the Air Gold Cup on Saturday the 18th I've got all the race times on here and I put down here it might be subject to change but there will definitely be betting offers out there um, and I do recommend doing some sharping because as I've done some sharping here there are some really good offers I've made a a, um, a thread on a Facebook group so this Facebook group is a bit of a dead group now but it used to be pretty lively and it won't take long to get it back lively but I've made a thread on here the Facebook group Sharbin Fred, so please feel free to join and then make any comments and that. Hopefully this will be the go-to for Sharbin because I think it's underestimated in match betting because what you've got to think of preserving your betting accounts has got to be number one, isn't it? And if you've got the time and also if you can fit it in conveniently, then why not do these betting offers in Paddy Power, Betfred, Hills, Corals, Labrooks, although Corals and Labrooks are quite tight. You could still make quite a nice monthly income off of that and it won't take long to work out at all it's not that much difference i do know some guys and um funnily enough i do so know some very very successful match bettors that have never been in a betting shop before it's absolutely crazy uh 
because he didn't used to get that. The next video out, guys, is going to be about duplicate accounting. You're probably thinking, what the hell is that? Well, multi-accounting isn't there, where you set up your name in your mum's name, your friend's name, and then you start getting braver doing your friends of friends' names and then strangers' names and then all sorts of crazy people that you might not even know. Well, duplicate accounting is where you do, you could consider it as stupid. Years ago, you used to be able to do this and do it through things like pay, uh, Nutella and Squirrel and stuff like that and quickly withdraw. But the bookies soon enough put into that but people still do it uh so but i'll i'll cover that in the video stupid account is making multiple accounts in your name so let's say you had a call account um and then a year later you made another call account and a year later you made another call account it sometimes works for ones that are not used much bet 365 are weird right because if you've got say a derelict bet 365 account that's not been used sometimes they even give you the bonus right and but they gub you instantly but i'll i'll explain more in the video i'm not um condoning this or recommending doing it i'm just reporting back also guys in today's ladbrooks wallets you'll find a nfl bet for one pound and also those silly five aside one pound free bets that you get i don't even bother playing them do you guys because i don't mind doing the nfl free one pound bet because i'll even just do an aqua or something like that just get rid of it it's not worth putting it on say uh, just a one single event but the five aside one i don't bother with it because it's too many clicks for that one pound i've done it a couple of times but i just don't got the patience for it also boil sports in the 430 game the liverpool game they've got a 10 pound no lose bet if you're not gubbed by them um i've got a boil sports shop near me so i'm gonna start getting down there as well there's more to come a lot more to come on the show i've been seeing guys and this one's a bit quiet today but if you visit my site best bookie this will be out every week and it's going to be a bit more fancy than this next week i'll put a bit more information in there um with also the offers attached to these more specifically but obviously there's going to be the two ups there and this is a heads up for the for the racing uh next saturday so any video ideas comment below guys uh this website here best bookie by the way it's got all sorts of different things about betting spread betting all sorts of stuff like that there's also my website pit bets if you're not following me on social media on pit bets on instagram at arbor hunter on um what's this called twitter and also i've got a match betting channel called just match betting i'll leave the link for that down below and also this youtube channel so the video will be out in two days time i'll be posting every two days so it's worth subscribing hit the mailing list also because there's some big projects out that i'm going to be doing with a lot of content going out and your feedback is always helpful guys good luck